Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Gerard Perigo Laureato Olympico Chronograph. You can see and you can purchase this manufacturer caliber 1996 tritium dial Gerard Perigo Laureato Olympico Chronograph on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see this reference 8017 on our website with additional pricing details, accessories included in the sale, and high resolution images. Naturally, subscribe if you like these videos. On my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. This is a handsome and versatile men's timepiece. I want to say the Gerard Perigo Olympico nomenclature first popped up during special editions marketed for the 1968 Mexico City Olympics. And I want to say that the watch is a synthesis of that tradition with the tradition of the Laureato from 1975 forward with its integrated case and bracelet. And then finally, the introduction of Gerard Perigo's manufacturer pedigree in the 1990s. All of those came together for this 1996 Atlanta Olympics commemorative, though not specifically marked as such. The occasion was the 1996 Summer Olympics in Atlanta, Georgia in the United States. And the watch represented the first time that a Gerard Perigo Laureato Olympico chronograph combined with a manufacturer caliber. All of these threads coming together for the first and the last time as 1996 was the last year for the Olympico in Gerard Perigo's periodic catalog. So let's talk about how it fits. It's a 40 millimeter steel watch, not including crown, crown guard, or chronograph pushers. Reasonably slim since it does feature many steps to its flank. At 12.7 millimeters thick, it's fairly easy for a dress cuff or a tight sleeve to ride up and over this watch. Now from extremity to extremity, the intermediate link does swell out slightly beyond the lugs. The watch spans 48.8 millimeters across the wrist and it wears well on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. I would say down to 13 and a half centimeters circumference, you're going to be able to wear this one with security and proportion. Now it does have a very comfortable bracelet. Let's talk about that for a moment. The bracelet is designed in the tradition of the 1975 Laureato and the references that came after. Now, of course, around 1995, the Laureato expanded to include the shape that you see right here, the bracelet design that you see right here. For the first time, mechanical in-house Gerard Perigo calibers, and the next year, the 8017 chronograph model followed, not just as part of the Laureato family, but as part of the Olympico tradition at Gerard Perigo. So you get that combination of integrated case and bracelet, and it is beautifully made. There's a very subtle contrast to it, as there's a slight horizontal striation to the finish of the large H form primary links, with the intermediate links in their cushion form being media blasted. You see the same kind of treatment on the case as there is a sort of horizontal striation across the case on the top and then a media blasted finish on the flank as well as the bezel. Now moving underneath you can see that the bracelet is built in the upscale luxury fashion with screws for sizing rather than pins and sleeves and you can see a curious feature I've rarely encountered which is the alternating use of screws on opposite sides of the bracelet. You can also see on the underside that especially when viewed in relief against my baseboard. There are plenty of channels to allow aeration of the wrist on a hot day, as well as avoid pinching skin or pulling hair. The clasp is simple, double deployant, and you can see it has a thoughtful curvature molded into it to accommodate the curve of the soft underside of your wrist. It's also very low in profile when closed, such that this is one that's probably going to avoid desk diving scars better than most. Moving back to the case, you can see that characteristic Laureato integrated lug and bracelet design. Design. It's very handsome, and of course Gerard Perigo now putting its own movement inside the watch. More, more of that in a moment. It's a more distinctly pedigreed high horology option, and a viable alternative to some of the pricier watches in this style. And you know the regular characters. Um, you know all of the usual suspects in that regard. But I will say this. One feature that only comes with time is the combination of the vintage style. As you can see, a handsome combination of blue a sort of off-white 
small hobnail, very much like the Audemars Piguet Petite Tapisserie, and the patina of the indices of the tritium dial. Now, I do believe these are service hands from a subsequent service at Gerard Perregaux because they have a different coloration and they glow brightly. So this one does have, in my opinion, Luminova service hands with an original tritium dial. You can see that there's a tachymeter scale outboard in the Olympico tradition for gauging the speed of a contestant over a known distance such as a standing mile or a kilometer or even a hundred meters and of course you can see that there are a number of different tones on the dial. There's the eggshell off-white of the hobnail, there's the dark acru of the tritium patina, there's the blue of the sub-register hands, there are small shocks of red on the tack as well as the sub-register scales, and then there's a high polish, a mirrored finish to each of the sub-register chapter rings. It's handsome and it's unique, and yes, there are watches from Vacheron Constantin and Patek Philippe and Audemars Piguet that do feature a very similar style. Most of them for far more money, but you get the same level of charm here. Now you can see that there are fine bevels to the case that separate the horizontals from the verticals and they aid the transition from the top of the lugs to the case flanks and the flanks of the case to the case back. The back is simple media blasted, and you can see the Laureato name as well as the notation that this is a 100 meter water resistant timepiece, so quite versatile. So if you are a sailing enthusiast, and we can remember the sailing events at the Atlantic Olympics, these are watches that are equally viable. Although not precisely a regatta chronograph, it can be used for that application, so long as you remember five minutes when it comes. 100 meter water resistant with a Gerard Perigo manufacturer caliber 3170 caliber. It's best described as a base caliber that is Gerard Perigo manufacturer with a Dubois de Praz vertical clutch chronograph module. Of course, looking at it in profile, you can see that the chronograph pushers are not exactly in line with the crown. It features a 42 hour to 46 hour power reserve. It does feature vertical clutches, so you can leave it running without additional wear and tear to the movement. There's a hacking function and a quick set date, so all of the modules Modern standards are respected alongside a 4 hertz or 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate. A handsome and historically evocative watch that weaves together many threads of Gerard Perigo history. You can see and you can own the Gerard Perigo Laureato Olympico Chronograph reference 8017 on our website.